Welcome back to my first public video in over three months. It's been since June since I have had a public video and since February since my last video where I showed my face. <laughs> it's been a while. So today we're gonna go through uh, talking about how to set up automated traffic lights, first of all. Um, there was a lot of questions when that stuff first came out. And then we're going to go right into looking at all the new stuff that came in version 0 0.3.0 of traffic control, which was a huge one. So a lot of the features that came in version 0 0.3.0 were a result of the features vote that we had in my Discord server, where I posted several different features and we voted on them, went through a bracket style system, and we came out with the three on top, plus a few other features that I decided was absolutely necessary, uh, especially given the features that we were gonna be adding. So without any further delay, let's take a look at automatic traffic lights. All right, so the first thing I'm actually gonna need you guys to take a look at is the traffic control config, because that's gonna tell you all the things that are going to be able to trigger the traffic lights. So once you install the mod, run it once, you're gonna be uh, given the traffic control config, or if you already were using traffic control and you've upgraded, it should save and put the new information in there for you to be able to edit. So uh, mine is right here. I obviously have a ton of config files, but uh, my traffic control config is in here in my Minecraft folder, config folder, and then under traffic control.cfg. So if we pop that bad boy open here, we got uh, this stuff here, which was there before that controls the uh, railroad crossing stuff for its automated mode. Uh, but these are going to have all the different entities that will trigger the traffic lights with the new sensor item, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. So uh, here we have uh, MTS, which is actually its former name. It's now called Immersive Vehicles. So those will uh, trigger it. Uh, these here, these here are all of uh, Mr. Crayfish's vehicle. Uh, these are Flans Mod, obviously. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what FVP is. This was compiled by not me. So uh, we got these here as well. And we got some uh, default Minecraft entities as well that can trigger these. One important note is players cannot trigger the stoplights. Uh, players don't have an entity ID like this. So as a result, because uh, players don't have a uh, entity ID attached to them, you can't put them in this list. So that's why uh, players will not trigger the stoplights. Uh, however, you can trigger them with a pig, a horse, donkey, mule, skeleton horse, and zombie horse. These are mainly things that you can ride. Of course, if you want things like uh, chickens and cows to trigger them too, I suppose you could put those in here as well. Uh, but this is what you're just given with default. The uh, only other thing on here is the sensor scan height. That just determines how far up from where the sensor is uh, it'll scan for entities. So default is five, that should be plenty. Uh, that means you can go up to five blocks below the road surface. So what the heck am I talking about here? Well, let's take a look in the game. We're actually gonna take a look at a server that I'm building right now that should be public, uh, I don't know when, but it'll be public eventually. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. So here we can see a huge intersection that is uh, got two tracks running through it on both sides of the road and uh, lots of stoplights here. So here we have our traffic control box and that's gonna be important. So uh, the two new items here that we have are the traffic sensor for straight and the traffic sensor for left. And this is kind of what they look like. So these will determine whether or not you're gonna trigger your traffic lights to go either left or straight naturally. So I have some holes already put in here to, uh, you know, help trigger these stoplights. So I'm going to put my straight sensors in here because I don't have a left turn lane. You can see that these two lanes are for going straight. So put these in here. And then on the other side, I will do the same thing. I do not have a turn lane as straight through. And I'm going to put it behind the crossing gate because if anybody was to pull forward, they'd most likely be stopping on the tracks. So uh, I put a sign here that says stop here on red and I'm gonna put the sensor down. Over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is a one lane only, so I'm gonna put down a straight sensor here. And over here is kind of where it gets unique. So you can see I have a straight lane and a turn lane. So 
I'm going to put the straight sensor in the straight lane. And then I'm going to use my left turn lane sensors here and here. So you want to make sure also that these are facing in the direction that you want them to go. So, for example, this is going to act as if you want a left turn lane for this direction, which is not correct. You want it facing the direction that we're going. And back here, I think I had another straight sensor so that way we could do some early triggering before we get up to the actual stoplight. Okay, so now that I have all of the sensors placed down, I'm going to go in and grab my tuner, and I'm going to go to the traffic control box, and this is the same way that you would set up your traffic lights and pair them with a the control box, but you're also going to uh, pair these sensors to the control box as well. So go through each one of these. Got the straight sensors here. Again, notice that they're all pointing the direction that I want them to be triggered for. Got my straight sensor here, a couple left turn sensors here, and one behind this crossing gate. And I think that's all of them. And then I will stop pairing. So now that they're all paired, I'm going to use uh, some of these fine tarmac blocks to cover these sensors up. Because I'm using a combination of Ferenicu's uh, tarmac blocks as well as heavy machinery's roadblocks. So this kind of gives you an idea as to where the sensors might be. You know, when I'm driving around and I, I see a stoplight, I'll be able to see on the concrete where the sensors are located. So that way I have a better idea as to where to park my car uh, to trigger the actual stoplights. So I have everything paired up and all that's left to do is drive a car over these and see how they trigger. Okay, so we can see that we're in my car here and we're approaching the stoplight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we can see I have a no turn on red sign here. So I'm going to stop over the sensor and check this out. Look at that. The lights are changing all by themselves because the car is over the sensor. So now we should get the green arrow, or the green light rather, and now we can make our right turn. It's completely automated all by itself. So I'm going to turn around in this parking lot here. And I'm going to take a left onto Route 1 here. So we can see that the left turn lane is up here. So I'm going to travel straight over and hover over this left turn lane. And we'll see that we will now get a green arrow to the left. And off we go. And then, once that expires, we'll see that the green arrow goes to a yellow arrow, and then after that, it'll disappear. And that's just a setting with that. Now, another thing I can do is if I grab a, another traffic light, and, oops, sorry, that's a rail stuff signal. <laughs> uh, if I go in and grab another traffic light here, and I grab the turn arrow bulbs, and pop them in here, red, yellow, green, and then I place that next to this one, like so. And pair it with the traffic light box. Oh, look at that, it's already going. So we can see here that uh, we now get the flashing arrow. And if I drive my car over the stoplet traffic light section again, we'll be able to see that when I approach and stop on the sensor, the yellow light, the arrow goes yellow and then it goes to red. So I'm gonna make an illegal turn here. I just turned right from the left lane. And let's turn around to that parking lot again. And I'm gonna go over the left turn lane just one more time because I wanna show that uh, the stoplight that has just the arrows in it, I wanna show how that works. I'm going to fly over here. Oh, looks like I went yellow already. So now we get the green arrow. And once I turn here, I'm just going to throw it in neutral and hop out so I can take a look. We see that we have the green arrow. 
It goes to yellow. And then after that, we get our flashing yellow arrow again until the traffic light gets tripped. So there are some additional settings uh, that come with uh, pairing the traffic light box to all of these traffic light sensors. So when we right click on this, we notice that all the options and all the checkboxes for the manual mode for the traffic light are gone. And they are now replaced with all of these different numbers. So the green minimum means how long is the traffic light green for at a minimum? So in this case, it's set to 20 seconds. Uh, the, you will, at a minimum, have a 20 second green light. The yellow time indicates how long are the traffic lights yellow before they switch to red. The red time is how long does it take for the next phase to begin. So naturally when we go green and we go to yellow and we go to red, generally the entire intersection is going to be red for a certain amount of time. And that amount of time is indicated by this red time. So in this case, it's two seconds. So it'll go green, yellow, red, wait two seconds before it gives the next flow, the next uh, right of way a uh, green light. And then of course the arrow minimum is how long at a minimum is the arrow shown for green light. In this case, it's 15 seconds. You can change any of these to be whatever you want. You can make them as short as you want. You can make them crazy short. Obviously, you can go down to a tenth of a second if you want to. I'm sure probably more. Uh, and then you can make them as long as you want as well. So that's about all I got for the automated traffic lights. Uh, hopefully, this information will help some of you who haven't done this before uh, really succeed in this. So uh, next up, we're going to jump out of this server that I'm building. And let's jump into a different world where I have a bunch of stuff laid out for all the updates that we have in traffic control 0.3.0. .0. All right, so traffic control 0.3.0. .0. Tons of stuff we did. I'm probably going to miss a few things, but here are the major things that we did. And there's five things. First of all, we added well over at least 100 signs. I mean, we had a whole bunch of roadwork signs to add. And on top of the ones that we planned on adding, we had to add a lot more because people wanted more. And then we also had community sign submissions, which is another thing you can do in Discord. So here's a lot of them. And another thing you're going to notice is the brand new overhauled sign GUI, which is really nice. Uh, we decided that it wasn't going to make a whole lot of sense if, you know, the roadwork signs got split up amongst the different IDs. We can't really put all of the roadwork signs together, especially if we add more in the future. So we really needed to overhaul the sign GUI. So this is what we came up with. We have the type selector at the top, which is a button, and that'll go through all of the signs that you're used to with the name. Uh, you can type in your variant number now. So, you know, this is circle sign 15 or uh, miscellaneous sign 55. Uh, we have the actual name of the sign. And then on some of these signs down at the bottom, you have a note that gives you a little more information about what the sign is for, how to use it, and all that good stuff, and obviously the sign preview itself. Over here on the right is definitely a very interesting piece of the sign GUI. Uh, we have a scrolling list of all the signs that are available, and I think last I knew there was about 700 some signs available. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of these new road work signs, men working, uh, lanes, multiple lanes merging over, uh, lanes ending or merging lanes, uh, traffic signal, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we added lots of new miscellaneous signs right here. Uh, my personal favorites are these uh, yellow arrow signs. Uh, we have one-way signs. We have... Uh, the pedestrian crossing one. We have things that you put under stop signs. We added a whole bunch of exit ramp advisory signs as well as uh, actual ramp signs. So yeah, all kinds of stuff. So uh, lots of signs. Oh, you can also search on this too. So check this out. If I want the speed limit signs, all I have to do is type in speed down here and I get the speed limit signs that I'm looking for. And then if I want uh, left turn signs, I type in the word left, and here's all my things that go to the left. It's uh, pretty handy. And we added the ability to make these compatible with the horizontal poles. So you see they actually connect in the back. 
so yes lots of really good sign updates so next up we have these five bulb traffic lights and we have the vertically stacked five bulb traffic light as well as the classic doghouse traffic light and they're both five bulbs so i said what the heck we'll do the doghouse one as well so i am going to set these up with the automatic mode as we covered earlier in this video going to pair with these sensors here and then i'm just going to use a pig to set these off so here we see we got the lights appearing as we would expect them to they go to yellow and then now they go to flashing yellow so that's kind of strange so one thing that we did with the traffic lights was in each one of the traffic light frames as you might have seen prior in the video is when you right click on this we get these new allow flash check boxes so this is much more useful if you're using these in automatic mode to prevent these uh, yellow flashing arrows uh, not so useful if you're doing manual mode, uh, especially since you can just not have it flash on whatever mode you have it set to. So I'm going to uncheck the allow flash for the yellow bulb. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Yellow bulb, uncheck allow flash. And now I'm just going to get rid of these. Then I'm going to replace them. And now we can see that we don't get a flashing arrow. So let's go ahead and reset this back. So this should give me, get him off of there. Give us our red light as we would expect. And then I'm going to trigger these again for the left turn lane in this direction. We should see this time that it'll go from a green arrow to a yellow arrow. And then the yellow arrow should disappear because it won't allow you to have a flashing yellow arrow. So here we are with our green arrows. Let me go to yellow. Get out of there, dude. And then we get nothing. So that's another little feature that we added just to kind of get rid of the flashing yellow arrow when it doesn't make sense. Next up, we have the street signs, the well awaited street signs. So you have your option of green red blue and yellow i have plans to add more colors if you can think of any more colors you might want for street signs please let me know uh, we have room for four more and obviously we can continue to expand as we need to with those so let's take a look at how these work so once you already have these placed you can actually right click them and you can change the direction that they're facing using these buttons here for north south or east west so if i make all these face north south then they're all facing one direction it looks a little goofy but hey I'm not going to tell you what to do. And then, of course, you can change the colors as well. So if I want to make them all green, there you go. You have them all green. So when I want to place them, I take the uh, street sign item. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. You ain't part of this. I didn't make any pigs. You're already part of the game. Get out of here. All right. So set that down. I'll be able to name this whatever I want, so we can call it Main Street. And now, if I want to go with a super long street name, for example, the Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Road, uh, then the text will actually shrink down to fit whatever you need. So there's no actual length limit here. Uh, if you just keep going, I mean, it's going to get absolutely unreadable but i can't imagine any street names gonna actually be that long so i don't think i have to worry about it uh so those are the awesome street signs they're gonna look great on stop signs too and i saw somebody very recently in our discord had the really cool idea to put down an exit sign like this and then you can actually use these street signs like this and do exit numbers so that's just a, uh, a really neat thing that you could do with these and i recommend it looks really nice so that's it for the main features but there were a few more that i figured we need on top of adding the actual additional signs uh we added another one onto the type 3 barrier so this GUI's changed a little different. We get a nice uh, dark tinted background and we get two check boxes here instead of just one. So on this one, I'm going to do sign across all barriers. And this is the one that we're used to. 
These will give your road closed, your lane closed, and the new one, road closed to through traffic. So that will pop that one there. So we decided we needed to go a little further, especially with these new detour signs. So now on individual blocks here, you know, this is a three wide uh, type three barrier. If I go to this one on the left, I can do sign on this barrier and I can pick uh, whatever sign I want. Now this doesn't have the new sign GUI just yet, but I do plan on adding it eventually. So if I just keep going, I think that, yeah, here we go. Here's the detour signs. So now I get road closed to through traffic and then I can put a detour on these signs as well. So yeah, it's awesome. We can put uh, whatever sign you want on here on the type three barriers. And last but not least, we redesigned the gate mechanism model. The last one was just a little too basic. And when I first met, I was like, eh, good enough. Uh, but I thought it was time for an update and it was one of the requested features. So uh, let's take a look at this thing in action. We can see uh, it now has this nice bigger long weight and it actually comes down and goes to the pole that it's sitting on, which looks really nice. And the gate height is actually exactly the same as it was before, which was just a hair above one meter. So one block is obviously one meter. And if I crouch down, we can see we have just a little bit of space. And that's exactly what the real life specifications are supposed to be. Another thing that's really nice now is, you know, you have the gate that uh, looks really nice, but the position of the gate is offset. So no longer is the gate, the bottom of the gate, uh, right in line with this box here, if you were to set this to a 90 degree angle, it's offset. So now if we grab some crossing lamps, we can see that it will clear these crossing lamps just like it should. And it looks a whole lot more natural. In fact, you know, what make it look even more natural is if I put on the cross buck on top, of course. There we go. That's a lot more uh, familiar to people who have taken a good look at these crossings. You can see that they are, this is much, much closer to what we would expect to see. Like I said, uh, there were probably a couple things in here that I didn't cover. Uh, there'll be a good surprise for you. <laughs> you didn't know they were there, and uh, they're a nice feature that are there now. So uh, I really appreciate you watching this, checking this out. Make sure you join our Discord server at the bottom. We are having more feature votes for the next version of Traffic Control, uh, which is going to be 0.4.0. Uh, preliminarily, I don't know if this is actually going to be the truth, but uh, might be coming out with my own economy mod as well. So we might see that coming up. Uh, so, of course, subscribe, like, share. Do all that great stuff that would really help me out and get the word out about this wonderful traffic control mod. And I will see you next time.